The green moldy bread that turned up at a Brownsville, Brooklyn school last week is something school's chancellor Richard Carranza never wants to see on any student's lunch tray. It's absolutely disgusting. That there's no reason why that should happen. But it did happen because two years ago, the Department of Education's food unit changed its bread contract. Daily bread deliveries were canceled. Most schools now get fresh bread only twice a week. Cafeteria workers tell CBS2 that when the bread sits out, it often gets moldy. I'm not going to rest, and I know that uh, members of my team are not going to rest until we, we, we not only eliminate that kind of thing from happening, but that doesn't happen again. The chancellor has ordered an independent audit of the food contract. Contracts, but CBS2 has turned up numerous examples of things the auditors should question. Food for thought. Here's just one chicken dumplings. DOE is paying $84.88 a case to a company that gets it from the manufacturer for $60. DOE would save $1.8 million by buying direct. There are many other examples, yogurt parfaits, cereal, lots of things where it's clear the DOE is not getting the best bang for the buck. This is exactly the kind of efficiencies that we want the auditors to uh, give us feedback on and to give us some substantive recommendations on. The chancellor says he's also concerned about the fact that kids aren't eating the meals that they're served. We are too. I showed the chancellor these pictures of a chicken dumpling and fried rice meal on the menu last week. Much of the food thrown away because cafeteria workers say it's high on the kids you can't expect me to eat that list they claim it's food being purchased by people who don't care if the kids actually eat it it's a matter of social justice for many of our kids this is the only meal that they eat they have to be appetizing to our students one thing on the chancellor's plate is to establish a board of student food tasters to help develop menus that kids will eat i'm marcia kramer cbs 2 news Chancellor Carranza has hired the accounting firm Ernst & Young to audit the food contracts. Those contracts are also being examined by the city controller and the Department of Investigation.